Hey there, it's Amy, and first off, I have to apologize. I know that you just unwillingly participated in clickbait, but hear me out. I firmly believe that we each get a once in a lifetime opportunity at clickbait, and when you are presented with it, you must take it. So this is my only time, probably, that I will ever clickbait you. And let's just break it down. Let's just get into it. Why am I ditching my Hobonichi? And what does that mean? Before you take to the streets and riot, this is not going anywhere. My Hobonichi cousin, she's a constant babe. She's never leaving my side. This is my life. But my work, however, is struggling. I have been using a Hobonichi Weeks for the past two years. Before that, I used a yellow paper house planner, which historically have always been my favorite planners. Paper is great, quality is great. They wear and tear very well throughout the year. But when I started working in my cousin, I got really caught up in the Hobonichi of it all. And I was missing the size of this one. The Yellow Paper House is a little bit more your standard like B6 size. Don't quote me on that. I could be totally wrong, but it is bigger. It's not just a throw in your purse situation unless you have a giant purse. So for a long time, I was loving the accessibility of the Hobonichi Weeks. As work gets busier and my goals get bigger, this was just not enough space anymore. I started to notice, well, I would say my habits showed me that this was no longer working for me a lot sooner than maybe I was paying attention to. I kind of stopped consistently working in here in July. July was kind of the last time I gave it a full amount of effort. And since then I just watched me not reach for it, but deadlines are flying past and I'm feeling nervous. I'm just feeling anxious about my schedule because it was just not anywhere that was working for me. A little creator known as Bye Bun, artist extraordinaire, content creator, video maker all around very cool person I sub subscribed to her patreon and she debuted back in August that she had shifted into a new planner she had been a Hobonichi cousin a Vec girly for years and years and she also found that system was no longer working for her and what system did she find but the happy planner system and I'm gonna tell you at first I was like Ugh because it says things like do what makes your soul shine but roxanne got in there and did the buy bun thing of making it utterly herself and i was watching this woman who is also very busy and also has to be self-motivated and very organized just watching her get her schedule down on this page and how customizable it was, but still structured. And that's something that I was really missing from the weeks is that I needed more space. I needed more dedicated areas for certain tasks or goals. In the past, I have used planners like the Passion Planner that is very structured, very prompt based. And that is too much, but the Hobonichi wasn't enough. And as I started watching Roxanne work in her happy planner, I started being like, I think that could work. So I placed an order. In the three weeks it took for that order to arrive, I consumed so much happy planner content, you have no idea. I will be honest with you, there's not a lot out there. There is planning with Bumble, of course. That girl has dominated the algorithm and good for her, she deserves it. And there are other few small creators that if you really go digging, you can find them, but there are not that many people using it functionally. I would say they are definitely getting their stickers down and using it in a way that makes them happy and joyful, which is, hey, all you can really ask for. But I was looking for people that functionally plan in their happy planners and I'm not really finding it outside of Roxanne. So here I am. I will tell you, I have been in this for three weeks now. It has changed everything. I love it so much it, to the point where like the cheesiness of it all the like you got this girl is not bothering me whatsoever maybe it's age <laughs> maybe it's just how customizable and functional this thing is but i'm like yes girl i do have this so anyway welcome to the new era the happy planner era i'm officially ditching my hobonichi weeks it is dead to me <laughs> dramatic again i can't pick up my cousin one-handed uh cousin is gonna stay. She's here to stay. For my work schedule, for my goals, for my life schedule, I have fully moved into the Happy Planner. What you're about to see is a little time travel. We're gonna go back in time. You're going to watch me unbox these three Happy Planners. 
along with some other things and test them out and see which one ultimately I choose. So sit back and enjoy. I hope the excitement comes across in this video because me editing the footage of, of unboxing these planners was so joyful. The like excitement I feel about my schedule, which is ugh, and my goals, which are ugh, and just the life that I am trying to work towards, I feel reinvigorated, which is so crazy because it's just, weird lamination and paper and stickers but my god i love the stickers anyway i'll stop talking we're gonna do 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 you're gonna watch me unbox and experiment and play around and then at the very end we'll choose a planner it's a good day it's a good day because my package is finally here it did take three weeks to arrive but it's here it's here it's here it's here it's here it's here and we are gonna look at it for the first time together i have ordered three planners from happy planner at the time of ordering i didn't quite realize that i was ordering three different styles which in the end was great because now i get to try three different styles i was just sort of in a blind buying rage good rage i kind of just blacked out and there were things in my cart and they were all on sale so i checked out i'm so excited okay let's just get it all out of here wow okay all right so I have purchased three planners and the sticker sheets that go with the planner. All right, I am going to open them all in order of like excitement to least excitement. So this is the first one that I had kind of landed on. It is the Folk Beauty vertical layout. Sorry, I had to get some scissors. Even though I've watched a million Happy Planner unboxings on YouTube, so you think I would know what goes into unboxing and open a happy planner. Oh, I can't tell you how badly I wanted to do that. Oh my God. That's the most satisfying thing in the world. Okay. I love the size of it. Wow. The paper is what I am most worried about. If I'm being honest with you, I'm worried that it's too like slippery, but it's really not. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, this one's so pretty. So I'm kind of out here thinking that like maybe this wouldn't be the one that I use, but now that it's here, who knows? So this is the vertical layout where it has the three boxes. It's me. I'm so excited. It's dinner time. I'm skipping dinner for a second. I kicked Elaine out of the common space uh so that i could do this kind of first reaction because there's no way i could have waited until tomorrow morning to do this but this one is so beautiful how how does anyone choose anyway so this is the first one i put in my cart and i was just looking for vertical i knew that i definitely needed vertical but as i started shopping around a little bit more i saw some other covers i was really excited about oh these are so pretty. I love, oh my God, I'm so excited. I love the illustrations and like the, how the page is decorated. I never thought I would like this in a million years. I could cry, okay, I'm not going to, but just know I could cry because I'm just so excited. Let's go to July of next year because that's when my birthday is. So obviously I wanna see that one. Anything you can imagine is possible. So true, bestie. My goodness, my goodness. Okay, so along with that, I got the Happy Planner sticker book. You know what I mean? I got the sticker sheet. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm losing light, so I gotta get going. I love that some of these are paper, some of these are more vinyl. Oh, I'm just about to have the time of my life. Oh, wow, you guys, how will I ever choose? Okay, so there was that one. That was the first one I put in my cart. Um, but then I came across this one and I was like, oh, maybe it's gonna be this one. Oh my God, I love this one. <laughs> but the only downside 
is that I realized after the fact that this one is lined, but the alternating discs, obsessed with this. Okay, my God, I love the fold, the texture on here. The color scheme in this one is unreal. I am obsessed with this one. But the downside, again, is the lined pages. So it is vertical. Um, that's the only, that's the only kind of planner I would like to use. Wow, this one is so pretty. This is going to be really hard to not choose. So, I will say, I just don't like this. It does not work for my brain. I'm having such a resistance to the lines, which is such a bummer because this is stunning. I love this. I don't even like to go outside and I am absolutely freaking obsessed with this. So I am trying to pawn this one off to my girlfriend. This one is so beautiful. I'm so bummed that it's lined because I would maybe use this one. I don't know, I just can't, I can't really get past that. And it is very straightforward. Like the folk and feather one is so beautiful and every page is so beautiful, which could be distracting maybe for depending on how you like to plan, but I have been in, in a Hobonichi weeks for so long where everything is just like, here it is, that I'm sort of craving something a little more, you know? Oh my God, I'm obsessed. Okay. This is beautiful. Like even, okay. Typically this, I'd be rolling my eyes so hard that you could feel it from where you're sitting. It's traveling across space and time somehow, but I don't even care right now. I'm like, yes. I will be strong and know that I am beautiful. Anyway, wow, I really love this one. I'm gonna, I'm, I will be mourning the loss of being able to use this one because the lines just do not really work for me, but I love the alternating discs. They ate with that one. I've never said that before. I don't know why I just decided to say it now. This is the sticker sheet that goes with it. Oh, foil. I just, I love this color scheme. These are really nice. Oh, I really like those. Yeah, I mean, this is just such a vibe. It's such a like, it is so like, you go girl, but it looks so good I don't even care. This is exactly what I needed to happen in my life right now. I don't know how to explain it. Any explain it any better than that. But, and finally, this is the one that I do believe I will be using because when I came to from that blackout that I had and had purchased all this stuff, I realized later that, um, you know, they were all different and this is actually the checklist layout. And I also just really like the vibe of this one. It is borderline a little too woo. Um, like do what makes your soul shine. I would not typically maybe advertise something like that, but the colors in here and like the patterns and the geometric shapes is just so nice that I maybe possibly can look past it. <laughs> I'm really, maybe I can, can, it will be such a pain in the ass, but maybe I can convince Elaine to like give me her rings. I don't know, the gold's fine, but I just like, they look a little like cheap. The other colors don't look as cheap to me, but the gold one kind of does. Anyway, not that big of a deal. Wow, this is gonna be so hard to choose between this and the folk and the feather, but I love these colors so much. So again, this is the checklist style. So this is the one that I'm kind of gravitating towards, even though that is a really small area to write in. Um, I have really big handwriting, <laughs> so that will be a bit of a challenge. I'm trying to find if I have, there's just a random notebook sitting behind me. So I do write like kind of large. Um, so, that may be a little difficult, but I could always work through it. And I still like that you have these areas that are sectioned off, which is what I ultimately am, am looking for. I don't know, the more I get into this one, the more I 
kind of like the folk art one. I mean, God, the more I get into it, I might could even do the believe you can one. Oh, this is going to be so hard. Anyway, um, I don't know. Please tell me in the comments which one you like more. It's going to be so difficult <laughs> to choose. Yeah, I'm losing light, so I, I'm going to stop kind of gushing about this and how excited I am. But wow, look at that. Wow. I mean, honestly, I work for myself. Sometimes I do have to hear that there are good days ahead. So, like, I'm not even turning my nose up at, like, kind of the woo-woo of it all. My goodness. The color schemes are just so nice. That's fun. I like that they do try to give you a variety of, like, vibes and styles. If you're going to rise, you might as well shine. Dang. That is real. <laughs> I'm fully a different person now that I am in a happy planner. All right, let's look at the stickers and then I'm turning the camera off so I can play. All right, so th this is the sticker sheet for the Bright Pops. Yeah, that's the name of this one is Bright Pops. And I think it's gonna be a vibe of the one that we just saw that kind of like believe you can of it all. Oh my God, I am so delighted by these. These are so fun. Honestly, maybe Elaine would like this one more. I'm, I'm so into all of these that like, I don't, maybe I don't really care which one I use. Um, I know it's not necessary to have the sticker book to go along with the Happy Planner, but it's just so fun. And I'm looking forward to kind of adding to it. I mean, what I need right now, what my soul needs is to just stick down a lot of stickers. Maybe do some highlighting, maybe a little lettering. Wow, these are really cool. I'm, to be honest with you, I don't love like foiled stuff. That's kind of not my jam, but it's cool that they added in there for the people that do like it. Wow. Oh my God. I'm so excited. Please tell me in the comments. <laughs> I think this is going to go a part of like maybe a bigger video, but tell me in the comments, which ones you think I, which one you think I should use. And I guess we'll see in the next section, which one I chose. Maybe I'll like kind of do a little practicing in one. Cause there is a part of me that does still feel very much like I don't want to mess it up, but you can't mess it up. It's just a planner. Okay. Bye. I'm, I'm, it's time. Okay. You go somewhere else.
So, what'd you think? Which one'd you like? Did you already put it below in the comments? Take a second now. Go ahead and tell me which one you like the most in the comments. I'm gonna take a sip of water out of my super cute new Owala. Let's work together. Please call me. We could work together, you know? All right, you made your prediction. You probably knew from the start, if I remember correctly, that it was never gonna be this one. I love this one. I think it's beautiful. The alternating colors, they got me. The color scheme of this one, stunning. But I cannot kind of get past the layout of the page. The lined page is not doing anything for me. I don't like having the colored box up top either. That's really not into it. There's something about taking away the two boxes when there's regu regularly three there really bothers me. So it's never gonna be this one. I've gifted this to Elaine, kind of forcing her to use it and this is how it's going. And I stuck down two of four of these stickers, so. What can I say? You can't make everybody be a planner girly, but God, I'm trying. Um, so that leaves us between these two. This is the, I believe it's the folk and feather, or sometimes it's called the folk art one. I don't know. I think this one is so beautiful. The art in it is incredible. The color schemes are incredible. And also same with this one. I love the motifs that you're seeing. I love the color schemes. I love the lettering style. I think they're both just so cute. And I really, really struggled as you probably saw. And initially my gut feeling was this one. And I think you can kind of watch me be really surprised by that in the video. I just love having those open three boxes. I think that it is so functional because they can be whatever I want them to be. And yes, I am kind of mostly putting appointments on the top, to-do lists in the middle, and then just kind of random bits underneath, like maybe when I'm going to the gym, or what I had for dinner that night or fin whatever book I just finished reading. Um, and I just love this so much. However, as we started going through and I did another week in here, I started to realize that I really dislike the tan. I don't enjoy it. I don't like writing on top of it. And even the stickers that come with it, I just like a white page. So, Maybe you could have guessed. Despite not loving the checkbook style of this, so I'll show you this again as a reminder. This is the checkbook layout in the vertical. Despite not loving that, I have officially stuck with this one. I have even modified it by switching the plastic rings over to the metal rings. I've added some loose filler paper in the back and I have to be absolutely honest with you. I'm obsessed with this thing. Um, there are, like I said, there are things that bother me. You know, the checklist style just doesn't always work for me. I either need more space, the lines that they've given me, the width of them, like I write pretty big and I don't like modifying how I write, but I'm plugging along. I have purchased sticker books where I can replace that area or I've even done the thing that I rolled my eyes at which was whited out the boxes and the lines with my white gel pen or even bought correction tape, which is crazy. Every time I see painting with Bumble, like white out something with correction tape, I'm like, girl, it's just a line, get over it. And then here I am meticulously whiting something out. So anyway, never say never, but I'm absolutely in love with this thing and having the absolute best time. This is not the last time you will see this happy planner. You will see more about how I use it and what works for me and what I've learned and how it's evolved. Of course, everything evolves in some upcoming videos. So I don't know. I hope you're into it. I'm really excited about it. I'm really into it. I'm just excited. <laughs> I'm excited about showing you how I use this. I'm excited about fitting it into my schedule and making it my schedule. And I've got some fun videos coming. So anyway, please tell me what you think. Please tell me if you are or have been, I feel like everybody when they first start planning, they probably went happy planner first. And I'm like the world's last person to ever have tried a happy planner. And that's okay because I'm having a good time. But anyway, tell me if you have tried the disc planning system before what some of your favorite hacks are in terms of like sticker layout. Like I'm watching the girlies get creative 
with the stickers. And that's been really fun. But anyway, just let me know what you think in all. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> I hope you're not mad at me about the clickbait thing. Like I did apologize up top. So I just, I'm sorry again if that first apology wasn't enough. And we will see you in the next one. Bye.